planning for teaching. Teaching is a deliberate act carried out with the intention of bringing about learning in children. This deliberate act needs to be well planned. Planning is central to good teaching. Planning includes construction and organization of classroom tasks as per competencies and outcomes to be achieved, pedagogy to be followed, resources to be used and assessment to be carried out. Planning also includes support activities for children, home assignments, displays in the classroom event to what is being taught. Plans are made for the entire academic year, for the term, for the week, for the day, and for a lesson. The state or district or school may have the responsibility for coming up with the annual and term plans. Teachers must therefore plan for the week, the day, and the lesson. Components of a teaching plan Good planning requires understanding of curricular goals, competences and learning outcomes to be achieved along with prior learning of the children for whom the plan is being made and available teaching learning materials and content to be used. The major contents of the teaching plan are A. Competences learning outcomes and intended lesson objectives b teacher directed teacher guided and or child child led activities to achieve objectives c duration and sequence of activities d content and material to be used in the activities e classroom arrangements for example seating displays arrangements of material. A. Specific strategies for children who need extra help. And G. Methods of assessment. The five step learning process Panchadi. The five step learning process Panchadi is a good guide to formulating the sequence that a teacher may adopt in planning for instruction. What are the five steps? Aditi, the introduction, both conceptual understanding, abhas, that means practice, prayer, that means application, and prasa, that means expansion. First, I will discuss about Aditi, the introduction. As a first step, the teacher introduces a new concept or topic by establishing a connection with the child's prior knowledge. Children gather relevant information regarding the new topic with the help of the teacher by asking questions, exploring and experimenting with ideas and material. Secondly, both, that means conceptual understanding. Children try to understand core concepts through play, inquiry, experience, discussion or reading in the second step. The teacher observes the process and guides the children. The teaching plan has the list of concepts to be learned by the children. Thirdly, obvious, that is practice. The third step is about practice to strengthen understanding and skills through a range of interesting activities. Teachers can organize group work or small projects to reinforce conceptual understanding and attention of competencies. Fourth is prayog, that means application. The fourth step is about applying the acquire understanding in the child's everyday life. 
This can accomplished through various activities and small projects. Fifth is prosar, that means expansion. The fifth step is about spreading the acquired understanding through conversations with friends, telling each other new stories, singing new songs, reading new books together, and playing new games with each other. For each and every topic learned, a neural pathway is created in our brain. Sharing knowledge strengthens our learning. A neural pathway is incomplete if we don't teach what we have learned. Teaching makes learning clear and long-lasting. Moral development depends. The sense of right and wrong depends on their feelings and desires. Their sense of rightness depends on whether their needs are met or not. Early childhood. Children think to justice and rules as unchangeable properties of the world and beyond the control of people. They charge the rightness of behavior by considering the consequences and not intentions of the individual. Middle childhood. Children begin to express objective ideas of fairness. Children believe that equity can mean that people with special needs merit need special treatment. Adolescents. Closer to adulthood, children begin to develop their own moral values while questioning, analyzing the ones set by their parents or the society. They value rules but also negotiate. As they develop abstract reasoning abilities, they display interest in larger good for the society. Poncho Kosa. Panchakosa Vikas Fivefold Development A Keystone in Indian Tradition The child is a whole being with Panchakosa or five seeds. The layers are Annamaya Kosa, that means physical layer. Pranamaya Kosa, that means life forcing energy there. Monomaya Kosa, that means mind there. Vikan Maya Kosa, that means intellectual layer. And Ananda Maya Kosa, that means inner self. Each layer exhibits certain distinct characteristics. The holistic development of a child takes into account the nurturing and nourishment of these five layers. Specific types of practices are designed to enable the development of each of these courses. However, the practices are designed keeping in mind that the courses are interconnected and, and so activities that focus primarily on one would also contribute to the development of the others. For example, the physical dimensions are developed through a focus on a balanced diet, traditional games and adequate exercise as well as yoga asanas at the appropriate ages which build both gross and fine motor skills. Learning to breathe in a way that provides necessary oxygen for the entire body is important 
it trains the voice and provides direction for increased self awareness a wide variety of stories songs lullabies poems prayers enable children to not only develop a love for their cultural context but also provide value based insights this contributes to language development beginning with listening and savanna as well as the ability to focus and concentrate the senses indriya are to be sharpened to be able to experience the world around in all its beauty and wonder seva integrated into everyday life enables the experience of joy of relationships along with being a part of and doing good for one's community the panchakosha concept and imagination also maps into the different domains of development and research in ecc which are the basis of the curricular goals as discussed in the next chapter first is physical development that means शारीरिक विकास ए स्पेसिफिक बैलेंस फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट फिजिकल फिटनेस फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी स्ट्रेन एंड एंडुर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सेल्सेस न्यूट्रिशन हाइजीन पर्सनल हेल्थ एक्सपांशन ऑफ फिजिकल एबिलिटीज बिल्डिंग बॉडी एंड हैबिट्स keeping in mind 100 years of healthy living in a human being development of life energy that is pranic vikas balance and retention of energy positive energy and enthusiasm smooth functioning of all major systems that is digestive respiratory circulatory and nervous system by activation of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system emotional or mental development that means manasik vikas concentration peace will and will power courage handling negative emotions developing virtues maulya vardhan the will to attach and detach from work people and situations happiness visual and performing arts culture and literature intellectual development that means both techniques observation experimentation analytical ability abstract and divergent thinking synthesis logical reasoning linguistic skills imagination creativity power of discrimination generalization and abstraction spiritual development that means choice significance happiness love and compassion spontaneity freedom aesthetic sense the journey of turning the awareness in us panchakosha is an ancient explication of the infant soul the body mind complex in human experience and understanding this non dictomas approach to human development gives clear pathways and direction towards a more holistic education